was good y'all Ritz Sosa back in the building with another banger man so as y'all can see by the looks of the title and the screen I'm bringing y'all the top five most rare unseen builds in NBA 2k22 on current gen so man with all that being said y'all already know what y'all need to do be sure to hit that sub button if you knew anybody who wants to join the rich gang family be sure to turn on post notifications hit that like button and be sure to drop a comment down below when done now the first build that i'm bringing at y'all going to be called the two-way pass first wing we're going to go ahead and make this build under the small forward position then when it comes to the pie chart go ahead and pick the one split right down the middle with the playmaking as well as with the defensive end now, when it comes down to the breakdown of the stats in each and every one of these builds, please just be sure to follow along with exactly what I do show y'all. I don't want anybody else saying that you got a different build name because you decided to change up a few stats. Be sure to follow along and then at the end, once you do get the build name, go ahead and make your own adjustments as you would want. So as you can see so far looking so good and really balanced, we're going to get six finishing badges, eight shooting, 21 playmaking, and then when it comes down to the defensive end, we're going to be able to get 20. Now, if you see anything already that you do want to change, just please take my advice. Make the build first, then go back and make your own adjustments just so that way we're on the same page with getting the same build name. Now, when it comes down to the height, I'm going to go with 6'7". For the weight, you definitely want to drop it down to the lowest, but then raise it to 191. And then finally, when it comes down to the wingspan, this is really going to take this build over the top. I'm going to go ahead and put it to an 89.0, and we're going to be able to get contact dunks at 99 overall, as well as pro dribble moves. Now, we got a good amount of takeovers. I'm going to leave that option up to y'all, but as you can see, we have made the two-way pass first wing and i love the comparison of Jalen brown this build also low-key reminds me of a rookie lebron james gonna be able to do a little bit of everything but now let's go ahead and get into the second out of the five builds that i got lined up for y'all and i'm telling you they are only going to continue to get even more rare and the one that i got lined up for y'all right now is going to be called the point center and yes with this build going to be very glitchy with how it's made and i say that because this build is very specific when it comes down to the stats how it's supposed to be made and especially even more so once you take into consideration the height the weight the wingspan all that plays a huge factor when it comes down to these builds so what you want to go ahead and do of course this is a point center so go ahead and put this build under the center position then when it comes down to the pie chart this build is a point guard in the center position. So you want to go ahead and pick that full playmaking pie chart. Then when it comes down to the physicals, you do have some options to pick from. But for my liking, I would definitely have to say going to be between the first physical profile or you can go with the fourth one for a much higher vertical. And do not worry because the stats are going to be subjected to changing once we get into the height on this build. So as you can see, we're going to be able to get around 12 shooting badges on this build. Then, when it comes down to the playmaking, we actually have the potential to get a good amount, being 28. Now, let's go ahead and move on to the defensive end. You know, you most definitely want to go ahead and upgrade the rebounding on this build, as well as anything on the interior with the block. So, I'm going to go ahead and get 11 badges right here. Put the rest into the driving layup and driving duck. And I'm telling you, the build is really going to work out in your favor once you see what I'm about to do. So, with this height, I'm going to have to say 6'9 is going to be the way that you want to go. And once you adjust the wingspan, you do have the potential to get park dunks on this build, which is a huge W in my opinion. I'm going to go with the weight of 193. And remember, you also will be getting a plus 8 to your physicals. So, you have the potential to get a 90 speed on a center build. And right here with the wingspan, 82.0 is looking solid. But if you want to raise it, you can go with 88.0. And we are still able off rip to get what I have been saying this entire time, the park 
dunks, y'all. Really a huge W in my opinion, especially with the rarity of this center build. Probably my favorite name out of any other build when it comes down to this game this year. I also like the point forwards. Y'all most definitely know I cannot leave them out. Two-way passer swing. That is also why I had it at number one. But really quick, once you add boost on this build, remember, you also have the potential to get the plus four at 99 overall. Buying boost running with teammates that are gonna have floor general and defensive leader on hall of fame and then consider whichever takeover you pick is gonna play a huge factor into this build and actually we will be getting the playmaking post scoring then we get the glass cleaning as well as the rim protecting really a solid all-around defensive build i'm gonna go with the playmaking the speed boost and break ankles and as y'all can see we have made the point center build three nice comparisons carl anthony towns bam Adebayo, as well as nicola i'm not even gonna try to say his last name y'all i'm gonna leave it at that but now let's go ahead and get into the third out of the five builds that i got lined up for y'all and if you are still here tuning in watching just know rich sosa appreciates you this build that i got lined up for y'all now is the secondary ball handler and you actually have the potential to get contact dunks on this build if you make it the right way there are multiple versions that you can make but i'm telling you y'all most definitely want to go ahead and follow the rich sosa wave just so i put y'all on right with the best builds all around how they're built so what you want to go ahead and do with this one put it under the power forward position now when it comes down to the breakdown of the pie chart, this is a huge factor. So just be sure to follow along with what I'm picking as well as when it comes down to these stats. For the physical profile, for my liking, I'm going to go with the fourth one. 78 vertical, you cannot pass that up, especially on this kind of build. So let's go ahead and get started. As you can see already off rip, we're going to be able to get 12 finishing badges. Then, when it gets into the shooting, you actually get some really good wealth here as well. You can change any of the stats as you please, but I'm telling you, I already did that going back and forth with maintaining the same build name as well as getting the most possible badges as well as the best stats for this build. So honestly, if you see another way that you want to go about it, go ahead and do so, but I already did the work for y'all, so you did not have to. Now, this is pretty much what the build is looking like. 12 finishing badges, 8 shooting, 21 playmaking, and you're going to be able to get up to 11 defensive unless you make some minor changes with adding stats into the steel and perimeter defense. Again, it all comes down to your personal preference, y'all. Now, if I were to make any changes to this build, I would consider dropping the free throw or some stats from the playmaking. The only thing is with the playmaking, you're going to lose a bunch of badges if you touch anything here. So that is why I say there are multiple ways to go about it when it comes down to making this build. Again, it all comes down to your preference, what you want to do with it, and how your play style is as well. Now, when it comes down to the height on this build, we're going to go ahead and drop it to 6, 7. As for the weight... I always tell y'all this, drop it down to the lowest and then bring it back up to where it does not affect any of your stats. Then, once it comes down to the wingspan, as y'all can see, we're going to be able to get the contact dunks. Really, it just comes down to which specific wingspan you pick. I'm going to go ahead and pick 88.0. And as y'all can see, we get two really nice takeovers. I'm going to go with the shot creating. And as y'all can see, we have made the secondary ball handler build. And I'm telling y'all, the comparison of Jason Tatum makes it all the better in my opinion. Now, let's go ahead and take it another step further, y'all. We got to go ahead and say, when it comes down to these builds, y'all most definitely know that I am bringing y'all the fire build names. Fourth coming up is going to be called the rebounding guard. I'm telling y'all, these builds are only going to continue to get even more rare. What they're going to be able to do is definitely going to be usable in any game mode. Y'all most definitely know I cannot bring y'all any builds that you will not be able to use. I'm going to be bringing y'all builds that are going to be meta, hidden, undercover, and I'm telling y'all, just all around rare, and I hope y'all can appreciate that. But as y'all can see, when it comes down to the making of this build, you actually do get to pick between the first as well as the fourth physical profile. However... When it comes down to the breakdown of these badge points, be sure to follow along exactly. So as you can see, we're going to be able to get six finishing badges. Then for the shooting, you can change this if you want to to get more, but I'm going to leave it at nine. 
Then, once it comes down to the pass accuracy and all that stuff, I'm going to go ahead and put this to where I get 17 playmaking badges. And finally, when it comes down to the defensive end, you can pretty much use the rest of the stats for this part of the build if you want to. And right here, we're going to be able to get 15 defensive badges. Really, in my personal opinion, out of all the builds that I've showed y'all, this one is probably the most balanced all around with what this build is able to do. Now, as y'all can see, if you do go with an 89.0 wingspan, you're going to be able to get contact dunks on this rebounding guard build. I'm telling y'all, this build definitely reminds me of a Russell Westbrook build, especially when it comes down to the stats. But as y'all can see, to make this build even more overpowered, I would go with the lockdown or shot creating takeover. That's up to y'all. But as you can see, we have made the rebounding guard build and i'm telling y'all the last one that i do have in store for y'all only going to continue to get even better so as you can see right here you can definitely go about making this build a whole nother way i'm gonna just throw this out to y'all as a little nugget if you wanted to go ahead and keep the first one that i just showed y'all but then from here go ahead and maintain what i'm showing y'all on the second one as well Remember, there's always multiple ways to go about making different types of builds. It all just comes down to how you want to make it as well as what you want to do with it. Now, for this one, 24 shooting badges, really solid. And on top of all that, the playmaking is still there. The defensive is even better than before. But when it comes down to the finishing, that is where things take a drastic hit so it's all coming down to personal preference and what you want to do remember you'll still be able to get park dunks and i like the fact that you still get the same build name even though it's made completely different so with this one as y'all can see you can change the height adjust it to your own liking but when it comes down to the weight y'all most definitely know you want to make this build as fast as you possibly can then from here when it comes down to the wingspan that's going to be a huge thing to think about as well so as you can see the park dribbles as well as even the pro dribbles are not going to be there. But once it comes down to the park dunks, you're going to be able to definitely get that. And now the takeovers are essentially pretty much the same. A little bit different, but I'm telling y'all, it all comes down to which version of this build you want to make. As y'all can see, we have made the second rebounding guard build. And I'm telling y'all, this was just an extra. So technically, I'm bringing y'all six whole builds right here as you can see two different ones two different heights weights are different everything about these builds are going to be very different but that's why i like them so let's go ahead and get into the next one and now once it comes down to it if you are still watching just know i appreciate y'all i love y'all and i thank y'all now let's go ahead and get into the final one the sixth or a fifth whatever you want to consider it all comes down to you but i'm telling you i say probably one of the best builds for last and now when it comes down to this i just need y'all to know if you are still watching be sure to go ahead and hit that like button right now i'm about to bring y'all the pass first point this build is really going to remind me of a few different players i'll go ahead and share that at the end but all around this is a really nice build name when it comes down to what the build is going to be able to do really all around in my opinion. So with this build, it is called a pass first point. That means we got to go ahead and make it out of the point guard position. Now, when it comes down to the pie chart, you can make this build out of different ones, but I'm telling you, the one that you are going to want to pick, and this is only if you're trying to make the very best version out of this build that you possibly can. Go ahead and pick the pie chart that is going to have shooting as well as finishing in it split right down the middle. Now, when it comes down to the physical profile, this is a huge part of this build as well. So for my liking, I would definitely have to say you can pick between the first or the fourth physical profile. It all comes down to your personal preference. But as you can see, when it comes down to the breakdown of the stats, 15 finishing badges so far, and you're going to be able to get a good amount of shooting if you end up making it exactly as I show y'all. 18 right here, in my opinion, that's going to be very solid and work out for me. Then when it comes down to the playmaking, I most definitely have to say this is an essential part of this build as well. Now, when it comes down to the defensive end, really solid still here. And if you've decided to complete each season, you have the potential to get 10 defensive badges. I'm liking how it's looking really all around build. Now, when it comes down to the body shape, I'm going to go with Burley. As for the height, 
this is really based on your opinion and how you can manipulate this build to still maintain the same build name for me i would go with 6-6 six, six, but 6-5 six, is going to be perfect for me because you're going to be able to still get the pro dribble moves once you do upgrade this build all the way past 97 overall and up to 99 now if you decide to go with anything else, go ahead and do what you feel like is going to be best for you. Then when it comes down to the weight, just drop it down to the lowest and bring it back up to 184. As for the wingspan, max it out and you'll be able to get pro dribble moves and also be able to get the contact dunks. This is pretty much what the build is looking like. So I just want y'all to know that I appreciate y'all. And man, y'all already know what y'all need to do. Be sure to hit that sub button if you're new. Go ahead and turn on post notifications, hit that like button, and drop a comment down below. And as y'all can see, this wraps up the top 5 best, most rare builds and unseen that you will be seeing today in this banger of a video. Just know that I appreciate y'all, I love y'all, and I thank y'all. And man, with all that being said, I got one last thing to say. Rich out.